Hey, Internet friend, Magic Brad here with Synergy Cafe and the SynergyCollaborative.com. And I'm here with my friend on Wellness Wednesday, and her name is Carrie. And Carrie, do you pronounce your last name Rashid? Correct. Ah, I did it. You did? Can you pronounce my last name? Probably not. No. I don't use it. I'll murder it. Some people, it's just, I pronounce it Goodum, but some people pronounce it Guidum, and, and they spell it funny, so that's why I don't use it. And I just use Magic Brad. They don't forget that. That's true. It's so I don't do these real long. These initial interviews are just to get to know who you are and what you do and all, and uh, and then maybe later down the road we can do something more on a focused topic for uh, people once they uh, know what you do and everything. So you live here in Minneapolis, right? I do. I'm a native. And you married, got kids, and all that stuff. I do. Two young boys. Yeah. Eight and twelve. There can be a handful sometimes. That's what I hear. I don't have any children myself. My wife has got one from another marriage. And uh, I was a kid once, so I, I know that there's a lot of little things we can get into, especially boys. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. So what do they do? Are they into soccer and stuff like that? Yeah, actually. The youngest one is um, into soccer, and the older one likes baseball, but he's going to try some track and that would be good for him. Just like, just get some energy out. And Absolutely. I don't think that's just a boy thing, but it definitely comes across. <laughs> yeah. When I would, balanced. when I was in school, I went to the, did the more the one-on-one -on -one type sports like wrestling, gymnastics, track. I didn't do team sports. I don't know why, but that's just yeah, the way I roll. just Whatever works with ourselves, <laughs> right? Our personality and everything. Yes. How long have you lived in Minneapolis? All my life, like I said, okay. I'm a native, but I have traveled around a bit. I have lived in Texas for brief periods of my life, and yeah, that's about it. So Texas or Minnesota? Exactly. You just go right down 35W. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> One far. end to the other. <laughs> <laughs> so what is it that you do for an occupation? Now, I know that you have a nursing background. You're not wearing your white nurse's outfit today. I'm not. I'm being kind of casual, kind of sporty, but um, yes, I am a registered nurse at the University of Minnesota, and I work on the transplant unit, which is a specialty medical surgical floor. Is, is that cool. the kind of thing like transplanting like organs and stuff like that? Correct. Oh. I, uh, anything below the diaphragm, so that would be liver or kidneys or pancreas combo <laughs> it's always interesting because i do a lot of these interviews talking from people that do all sorts of different bizarre things from uh like write about ufos to <laughs> all sorts of stuff so it, that's how they classify it anything below the diaphragm correct that would be a solid organ and then the heart and the lungs can be transplanted as well but that is not um seen on our floor they stay over in the cardiac unit <laughs> So I know we've gone quite a ways with technology. Has anybody ever done a brain transplant? Oh, I don't know. I don't either. That would be uh, weird. Cause, and cause... faces and stuff like that you hear on the news. But um, the only other one that I didn't mention would be intestine. And we haven't done that for about four years. So That's got to be intense. you got to stuff all that back in there. To... <laughs> Are you a, is that what you do? Are you a helper? You, you kind of compare feed that on? to your magic, but yeah, we would have to put it back in. Exactly. Um, but yeah, it's it's very interesting. I like it a lot, and that's where um, I really felt uh, starting my own business as Nurse Carrie was just a natural fit. And uh, bringing natural health and medicine together, they're kind of in a couple silos of their own. Mm -hmm. And I would just like to be that glue for people. And I just love using natural medicine myself. And actually, I've saved a lot of money going to the doctor with common colds and whatnot. So mm -hmm. it's been worth it for me. Yep, I've been more about the natural thing. I had a mild... Uh heart thing or not a heart thing a brain thing it's like a mini stroke a while back and they wanted to put me on all these weird drugs and stuff and I thought no nah, I've heard about that kind of stuff and I opted just to go through chiropractic and just start eating well and exercising well and good mindsets and I feel great good for you <laughs> so natural is yeah, way to go it's amazing what the spine can adjust 
<laughs> what kind of natural stuff you do? What's the so Young Living Essential Oils oh, yeah. is um, a company that is natural lifestyle from Utah, and they've been around since 1994. So um, they have a lot of efficacy in their products already, and I am personally trying a lot of things and researching them first and then doing it, but they've already built their trust with me as I've done research in the past. and. Um, it's just kind of intertwining that natural health with those products. I know that all of the ingredients are organic. They don't use anything that um, isn't, uh, even the soil from the essential oils. They make sure it hasn't touched pesticides. So. Yeah, I just right. They have their own uh, fields down there where they grow their own, uh, like uh, lavender and all the different oils and stuff to extract from the plants and stuff. I understand. They do, and they have very high uh, goals or you know standards for the people that they partner with, the farms that they partner with. I was able to go to the convention this last June, and they showed five different ways that they test the essential oils to make sure it is elementally and all the compounds are exactly the way the species is supposed to be presenting mm -hmm. um, in the oil. And it's just phenomenal. So I, all that uh, quality, there's... What got you into the essential oils and natural kind of thing? It, 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 it's obviously it's a nutrition based kind of uh, an energetic kind of stuff rather than like the physical aspect of working out and all that kind of stuff. You're, you're, you're otherwise you would have opened up a yoga studio or a fitness gym, but you got into the natural, the ingested kind of stuff. You found me out, Brad. I don't uh, exercise as much as I should. And this is a great uh, way of just keeping healthy. But yeah, they have supplements and then the essential oils. And the oils, um, they just, they give you the energy that it says it's going to. And it changes the, just the mood. It changes physically how like the different systems feel muscular and all of that. And it's just a really great addition. And I've, I've noticed um, changes with focus. Uh, that is my personal part of the story is that um, my son has a mild form of ADHD and um, he just, we wanted to wait a while for medication mm -hmm. because like I said, I join these things together. I join medicine, my, my work and everything together. So I thought, why not? I'll research it because that's just my personality. I'm not going to do anything unless I know um, what's out there and they do medical studies. So once I started going into the study that went into the study, all that tedious stuff, it still uh, came back as okay this could be a change and it actually, you know, helped, um, my oldest son relax and, mm -hmm. and uh, calm down a bit. And I love using it even with my younger son who doesn't display the same symptoms. So yeah, that, that's where that it really calming got thing that, that makes a total lot of sense. Like I know that, uh, sometimes I drink chamomile tea and it's just, it's just relaxing. And so mm -hmm. if you take the essential oils, because that's basically what they do, is they get the, the concentrated part of the oil, and then uh, when you ingest it, especially into the, the smell of it, the olfactory system is very, very powerful, and it just kind of yeah. relaxes you, chills you out a little bit. I get it. Even if you can't smell as well anymore, your um, limbic system, that olfactory system that goes up to the brain, it still is effective even though you've maybe lost your sense of smell. Right. Absolutely. It's, it's still doing something inside the neurons and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. I get it. So what else do you do in your business? Is it specifically that, or do you do like seminars, workshops, do you teach people other things about nursing and all that kind of stuff? Well, I do uh, 
hold classes regarding the essential oils and um, how they can be used and even the supplements. Uh, I also give nursing advice uh, to people that want to compare or slowly add or change their medication mm -hmm. with essential oils or trying those things. Uh, my ideal job there would really to have contact with their physician. Uh, right now, people need to be their advocates. You know, they need to be right. their own advocates. And I remind them of that, that there's nutrition. We can't yep. forget about that. And medication and then the essential oils, because a lot of our medication has the background of the essential oils, such as peppermint for digestion. They didn't just accidentally, you know, come up with um, a Tums or something like that that is flavored <laughs> with the peppermint. Right, right. It's just known over time. So it's just, it's getting back to our roots. It's, it's re-educating people because we... We've fallen away from a lot of the natural health, and I really feel like it's exploding right now. But it still has a really big silos. I think where... there's there's definitely the 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 use for certain drugs and pharmaceuticals and stuff. But it's so easy for people to just get addicted to it because it's it's that little quick little fix. Like I remember my nephew's wife; she used to go out Friday night, Saturday night, get all hungover, and then she'd come home and take Tylenol and Advil, and <laughs> it's, it, that is that you're not suffering from an Advil deficiency. You're suffering okay. because you drink too much. So if you really look at the, but, but it ended up almost getting addictive, where it's just pop one of those things and you feel better. And you need yeah. to wean yourself off that and go with the let, you, let listen to your body, so to speak. Perfect. I love talking about lifestyle with people because it might just be that easy. Just. You know, stop it the habit. You know, and, and it, it sneaks up on you. When I was doing my expos and all that, it was stressful work. But because the body is able to handle a lot, your body sort of adjusts to it. And then it, uh, the stress doesn't seem like it's really stressful, but it still is. And like, they, don't, don't they say like stress is like the silent killer? Because it's, you don't notice it. Hmm. Right. Until palpitations come or yeah, exactly. <laughs> high blood happens. pressure happens and then yeah well, you don't really notice you don't even notice high blood pressure until you go get it measured you know that's right that's so you got to check up on it. so yeah. i got a one two other two other questions where do you do your work mm -hmm. do you have an office or do you work uh, out of your home because a lot of people are home-based nowadays Yes, I do work out of my home. I like mm. to meet people, you know, at a coffee shop or a public place if that's where they're comfortable. A lot of times libraries will give us a more, pers you know, a private area if, if it's more of a discussion they want to have in private, digestively or oh, something sure. like that. You know, nobody really likes to talk about poop at the coffee shop. <laughs> Not that but I know of. part of what I do and... <laughs> Nurse uh, Carrie for Young Living is my page, and I recently, yes, talked about poop. Okay, okay enough of that. We'll change yeah. the subject. Here's my favorite question, and that's the question of why, the big why question. Why is it you do this? Why aren't you like a tennis instructor or a ski instructor? Or why aren't you like a, opened your own restaurant? Why is it you selected nursing and that? Okay. Well, I really love helping people in the hospital setting. That That is just a core thing for me. It's hard for me to actually take off my nurse's hat. <laughs> it's true. Um, and when I help others, it makes me feel good. And it sounds cliche, but it's true. I mm -hmm. love it. And then I know my body isn't going to be able to handle working on the nursing floor either forever. So duly, I am thinking about, you know, helping others and helping myself that, you know, the hard uh, labor that comes with working in the hospital, even though the rewards are great, sure. it, um, it can wear down on your body. So even though <laughs> I just got to work out more. That's the main reason of what I do things. Uh, Got it. What I do. Well, you know, I've done a lot, a lot, a lot of these interviews. And when I ask that why question, I often, often get probably 95% of the time is they want to help other people. So there is hope for humanity, so to speak. 
<laughs> That's awesome. Keep so I'm going to sign this one off. And what I do is I then put this into it. I put an intro and outro on it and I put it up to YouTube. And then I embed it on some other blogs and posts and put it out there. And if you would uh, synergistically share it also when you see it out on social media, that would be much appreciated because that's what the Synergy Collaborative is all about. Wonderful. Thank you for having me. So thank you for taking the time on Wellness Wednesday. <laughs> Peace. Bye. Thanks.